welcome back to Cooking with Leah J. So I hope you guys are having a great week and a fantastic day. Today I am bringing you guys a little small three-part cooking series, okay? So this first video is gonna be how to make pizza dough. Very simple and easy, only requires a couple ingredients. The second video is gonna be how to make some calzones. And the third video is going to be how to make some garlic knot with a nice little marinara sauce. So let's just jump into how to make this pizza dough. All right, so here is everything you're going to need to make your pizza dough. We just have some bread flour here, some extra virgin olive oil, our active dry yeast, some salt, some honey, and a cup of warm water. Let's just go ahead and get started. First thing is first, we have our one cup of warm water here. We're going to take our active dry yeast and we're gonna put two and one fourth a teaspoon into our water. So now we're just gonna let this sit for five minutes and let the yeast bloom. So guys, I have some honey here. We're just gonna take a tablespoon of this honey and we're gonna pour it into our yeast and warm water mixture to help it bloom also. So here we have our yeast that has bloomed. Now I'm just gonna pour in our two tablespoons of oil. And our one tablespoon of salt, I mean one teaspoon of salt. Now here we have our wet and our dry ingredients, and now I'm gonna be using my stand mixer, which is right over here, so we can mix our dough, and we're just gonna start from there. So here we have our wet mixture and our stand mixer. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in gradually our three cups of bread flour. We're just gonna add half in for now, and we're gonna knead it with the dough hook, and we're gonna keep on gradually adding it until we get a nice, smooth consistency that's tacky, but not sticky. All right, so here we have our dough. I'm just gonna feel it a little bit. It should be tacky, but not sticky. Um, still a little bit sticky, so I think I'm gonna add probably about another one-fourth a cup of flour in here. All right, guys, so here's our dough. Here's our dough, I'm just gonna feel it. And it's nice and tacky, but not sticky. So now, when your dough gets like this, I'm just gonna put this on a low setting. I'm gonna set a timer for six minutes, and we're just gonna let it knead for six minutes. All right, so here is our dough. As you can see, it's nice and smooth, not sticky, a little bit tacky. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm gonna take this out of here, clean out this bowl. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the bowl. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on top and we're gonna let this rise for one hour and that'll be it for our dough. And here is our dough. As you can see, it has more than doubled in size. I'm just gonna take all this off. Just gonna poke a hole in it. And that's it for our dough, guys. So, if you don't wanna use this dough right away, you can go ahead and put this in a nice little Ziploc bag that's airtight, and you can put it in the freezer. The next time you wanna use the dough, all you need to do is just take it out about six to eight hours ahead of time so that it can unthaw, and you're gonna place it back into a bowl so it can rise again. I'm gonna be making our calzones and our garlic knots with this dough, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and get it ready for our other two series of the video. See you guys in the next video. Bye.